Hey, rich friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from The Money Mantra, and we're back with another Forex Education video. The purpose of this channel is to help as many people as possible become independent and profitable traders. So if that is you, you are definitely in the right place. I do want to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you found me through the YouTube search, if you found me through a recommendation or a suggestion, welcome. I really do hope that you learned something and you enjoy your time here at The Money Mantra. Also, special shout out to my returning subscribers. You guys already know the vibes. You know we are going to keep it quick. We're going to keep it simple. And we're definitely going to get results. Now, if you are unaware, I did recently launch my subscription-based personal mentorship program. So if you like my YouTube videos and you want to learn with me directly and take your education a little bit more seriously, you can register. And that information is down below in my description box. So in today's quick video, we are going to be doing a trade breakdown of the CAD JPY trade that I dropped in the chat last week for the students who are currently receiving mentorship from me. And this was a sell limit idea for, um, again, CAD JPY. As we can see, it was recommended for a sell at market execution or a sell limit, which is a type of pending order you can use um, in the market. I gave a stop loss of 50 pips and about three TPs up to 200 pips for one to, it should say one to four, but it says one to three uh, risk to reward ratio. So if you guys are ready to see how this trade actually played out, just stay tuned and make sure you subscribe if you are filling the video. So I already put my chart in replay mode and we're going to start where... I was when I did my analysis. I'm going to go over my confirmations and then we're going to see what actually happened. So the website that I'm using today is called tradingview.com. It is free. This is where I do all of my chart analysis. They do have paid tiers, but you don't have to to really see results here. So the first thing I noticed was that there was a supply zone that was here, right? Now, supply zone is just an area in the market where the market tends to sell. Now, to recognize the supply zone, you'll see that the market was going up consistently, and then it just hit a halt. Now, this halt can happen for many reasons. It can be the result of news coming out um, or just different things that influence how the market is moving. Now, I want to show you other examples of supply areas, and then we can see how the market reacted. So we have a supply area here. We can see the market reacted and sold. We have a supply area here. We can see that the market turned around and sold. So the first thing I noticed was that the market was in this supply area. So I figured that it would push back up into this area, reject like it typically does, and then come back down. Now, the other things that I looked at and the thing that made me really want to take this trade for the sell was looking at my stochastic indicator because this indicator is, it tells you so many things. Like it looks simple, but it, I call it like five indicators in one. And I do have a lot of other videos on the stochastic that just give you more insight into how to actually use it. But when I'm using the stochastic to help me with my entries, this is pretty much what I'm looking for. And I'll just go back to past examples so that I can show you guys. You'll notice that when the stochastic is at the top of the chart and it crosses back down into the blue area, that's usually when the market will sell. So I highlighted one example here. And we can also see another example here where we had the candles in a supply zone because it hit a sudden stop. And then on top of that, we also had the stochastic crossing back down below 80 into the blue zone. So I saw these two things and it made me say, OK, I'm going to get into this trade for a sale. I also noticed that my momentum indicator was facing down. And the way that I use this indicator is if it's facing up, you'll notice that the market is going up. And when it's facing down, you'll notice that the market tends to be going down. So I just did a quick overview 
Um, and I set a 50 pip stop loss and a 200 pip TP. So we're actually going to go and play this trade and we're going to see what happened. So we can see that the market actually did tap back into our supply zone and then it started to come down. We can see that the market is actually still selling. But the thing that's interesting about this trade is that I was actually stopped out of this trade, right? My TP was only at 109.00, but the, I mean, my stop loss was at 109.00, but the trade actually hit stop loss two points above where I set it. So I actually was stopped out of this trade, which is unfortunate because as we can see, um, it is, look like it's approaching my um, 100 pip TP. So if I had just had a little bit of a higher stop loss on this trade, literally just two more pips, then it would have turned out better for me. But I did post this trade on TradingView. So if you did have the chance to get in and you're still in this trade, congratulations. It was a really great idea. Um, just be mindful that whenever you're dealing with certain pairs, you do have to um, understand that you can adjust your, your take profits and your stop losses, right? You can adjust your take profits and stop losses on any trades, but for specifically for me, when I'm trading JPY, I know that 50 is the minimum that I would go. But now looking at this trade, I'm thinking maybe I need to increase it to 55 um, just to have that little bit of flexibility because those five additional pips could have saved me and made me more money instead of losing money. So that's really all I have for you guys today. I hope that this was helpful. If you learned something, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment to let me know what you learned. And of course, don't be a hater, share this video with another trader. But until next time, rich friends.